morning, guys. How are we all doing? Let's not make lots of noises, nor bite me. Um, how are we all doing? Happy Wednesday. I hope your week's going all right. I can't believe it's like the last full week of February. February's gone fast, hasn't it? Like, I feel like February has whizzed by and we've been so fortunate with the weather. I mean, I don't remember a February being this good, like this dry. I don't think, I never turn the horses out in February ever. So the fact that I've had like several weeks of them being out, even if it's only for an hour or two a day, has been just dreamy. Um, it does make me think what's March gonna give us because this can't be it for winter, can it? I mean, March is gonna have to throw us something horrible, I'm sure. I mean, whether we get this cold spell that everyone's saying we're gonna get or whether it's gonna be super wet or just, it's not over, is it? You know it's not over, even though we've had quite a few weeks of lovely weather. Um, I have got a bit of a mixed vlog today. Um, I have a really good pole exercise um, that I did with Coop and honestly you may have already seen because I think I put a reel up of it and a YouTube short of it because oh my god that horse he can still lift his legs up so high it was the most simple basic pole layouts but it had the biggest effects it's all about um, helping your horse be able to collect and lengthen using poles and like I say it's easy peasy and the results were amazing I mean Coop honestly he looked like a dressage horse um, he completely wowed me. I was like, wow, this is not my horse. If only he could move like that without poles. Anyway, that was really good fun. So I'll put that in because it was a really good exercise, actually. I came away thinking, gosh, that really, like, opened him up and got him lifting and everything. But I'll talk about that when I um, add the video clips in the next bit. Um, I'm off to be dressage show groom today. Um, yes, it's over one of my clients. We're going to Hunter's. And, yeah, I'm just going to go and help her. So that would be nice. And I might add a bit of sienna in there if I get any footage. I can't i be totally honest, I haven't quite got there yet, so I don't know what I'm going to be able to video, but um, yeah, right, if I can add a few bits of sienna, we are definitely slowly but surely getting the ball rolling, so that's good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because I need to keep moving and get everyone mucked out and fed and ridden and so on, but um, yes, that's where we're at today. Really good pole exercise, heading to a show, and if I manage it, a little bit of sienna. This is such a lovely pole exercise for working on your horse's lengthening and shortening of their stride. And honestly, the results were just brilliant. So to begin with, I just walked Corporal over the poles. Part of my warm up, remember walking over poles is really beneficial for your horse because they have to physically lift their feet up and over the poles compared to when they're trotting. They have that natural spring and cadence that makes it that little bit easier for them. So great for hind end strength and core strength. Then I moved on to some raised trot poles. So really working now on the collection. I wanted to be able to get Corporal to take a little bit more weight behind to get that elevation, that uphill feel in his trot work. So I didn't, I wasn't too precise when it came to the raised poles. I wanted Corporal to think about where he was putting his feet. You can see at 22, he's a little bit more slack behind now. I think we can let him off at his age. Um, I wanted to create that activity, that energy, and the poles did this for me. So like I say, I tried not to be too precise I left him to think about where he was putting his feet. I wanted to feel like he was quickening underneath me so that he was sharper and quicker off of the ground as he was trotting through the poles. So creating a collection without me having to take too much control at the front end. So really, my job was to make sure I was straight, that I kept him in a nice balanced rhythm and just let him think for himself. Now, you could obviously raise these poles a lot more than I have done. I've just done it this height because of his age and he doesn't need to be lifting any more than this but I could not create this kind of trot this kind of elevation and expression if I was just working in the school as normal so raised poles really is such a good workout for your horse like you will really see some great benefits from them for doing pole work regularly and it's really enjoyable for them like it is good fun to be doing it like this with them then I moved on to now working on collection so shortening my horse's stride length doing this I made I set these poles out at a slightly shorter trot stride than I would normally do. So this meant that I had to come in much steadier with a little bit more control and balance so that Corporal had the time to be that little bit snappier with his feet. You can see here on the side angle just how much steadier I had to be and the time it takes for him to actually get more lift and be that bit quicker with his footwork as he trotted through these poles. I found this really helpful for Corporal. Like I say, I could never create this kind of activity and energy and sort of um, elevation if I was just trotting around the school like normal. Then finally, I moved on to lengthening his stride out. Remember, you can do all these exercises together. So maybe you'd go and do the raised poles, you'd move on to this sort of short collection poles, then go to the opening him up, like lengthening poles. Like you can mix and match. 
So with these, um, the poles progressively got wider. So the distance in between them got longer. And here I was really looking at getting corporal to open that stride length up without losing the balance, without losing the rhythm. And also normally when it comes to medium trot with corporal, he tends to get quite flat. So he'll lengthen, but he tends to get more on his forehand. And this exercise stopped that. So this way, I still had power. I got more sit from him, but I had this uphillness that I wouldn't normally be able to get. Now here, I thought I'd just add this little piece in. So as I was lengthening the poles, Corporal decided to have a little party on his own. And then when I went to get on, he nearly left me hanging on the blocks here. I thought it was rather entertaining. But just look at this activity this poles, these poles create incredible so this is obviously the, the poles are slowly getting longer in between each and the uphillness i was getting from corporal so i was he was lengthening the stride while staying uphill i couldn't ask for more i am about to go off now to go and be show groom we're going to hunters so i have tidied myself up a little bit because you know hunters is quite posh so um i thought i should probably look a little bit smarter than i normally do um, so yeah sienna was good good she just was she was a little bit tentative today and i don't know yesterday she was she started off well got a bit cheeky towards the end and i suspect she was getting a little bit tired um and i changed a different bit today because the contact is still a nightmare with her actually to be honest um she is so her tongue is so active in her mouth i mean it's outside it's up but it just but she does it in the stable as well it, she seems to just be obsessed with playing with her tongue so I'm slightly worried about what we're going to do about this long term because she, even though she still has got a few caps to lose, all her back caps have gone. So she's only got a couple of front caps to go. So I kind of hoped we'd start to be going in the right direction. So I'm slightly panicking that this is just her. Anyway, I've ordered a new bit at £115. So I bought her a new shawl turtle top loose ring snaffle, which interestingly, when she was broken in, this is what they put in her because they said at the time she was very iffy in the contact. She doesn't do anything. She just constantly plays with her tongue in her mouth. So it makes a very, for a very evasive contact. You don't really have much there. Anyway, I tried her on something different today just for interest's sake. And she was not particularly impressed at all. In fact, I jumped off thinking she'd got a tongue over the bit, but she hadn't. She was just so busy with her tongue in there. We've grown her in a hackamore as well, just to see if that like took away the problem, but it didn't, <laughs> interestingly. So it's not that it, she's doesn't like her but obviously we've had the dentist look at her mouth loads of times and you know there's nothing iffy going on in her mouth so i don't know she's just very active at this rate she's gonna end up being a show jumper because it won't matter quite as much if she plays around with her tongue and show jumping but it will in dressage so um but she was still fine we did a little bit of baby leg yield which she's really getting the hang of we did a tiny little bit of like flexion again um she's really getting the hang of halting and then making sure she halts square which is lovely like she picks things up so quickly which is nice um so yeah so it was good i didn't school for very long so i knew she'd schooled quite a bit yesterday so i just wanted to literally just ride her really for just my sake just to try and keep me going i don't want to stop now we've got going i don't want to stop anyway on to work so i have finished been a good boy this is as you well know my favorite client's horse i get to ride He's just the best. And when he's old and grey, I'm going to steal him. I know, he can be all mine. I mean, I don't know if that's actually the case, but I keep telling him it's going to happen. Then we can play dressage together, can't we? He's such a handsome boy. Get you back and have a wash. Hey, get you back and have a good wash. <gasps> such a gorgeous day out here. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. Oh, I always feel like I could be doing dressage every day. I have that, like, as soon as I'm at a dressage, I'm like, oh, I just want to be competing. Love it. Tiny snippet from Sienna's schooling session. We've been working hard on getting her to halt square in front. You can hear, see here it took a whole 10 seconds to get that front right leg to work square up, but she gets it in the end and she's getting so much better. Well, this is fabulous hair as always from me. Um, I am going to finish the vlog here, aren't we? We've been very good. She's been very good because the boys are actually um, both out in the field, so she's in on her own. That was teeth um and she's been very good because if you remember when we first got her she would not cope in the stables even when one just one of them left she'd have an absolute me meltdown wouldn't you so the fact that you can now stay in the stables on your own though i think she's been doing this you are naughty because you do chew wood a bit don't you she doesn't i've never noticed her really do it in the field too much i don't think but you are a bit naughty in the stable hmm anyway she's at least being a good girl about being in on her own so 
Yeah, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready for a snooze as well. And I had some late lunch and then I've got a bit of a food coma situation going on. So not got much energy left. But anyway, today was good. And yeah, it was a very successful show, which was good. Um, I feel like it's been a good week for you. We've kind of slowly got the ball rolling again. And yeah, everyone got ridden a good amount this week. It's just been, yeah, been a good week. But uh, roll on next week because it's regionals week. So um, yeah exciting very very exciting maybe you would like to do summer regionals i don't think we'll quite get there will we <laughs> i think that might be a bit of a stretch but yeah anyway i'm gonna leave the vlog there and uh, see you guys again soon